we need real leader. And that person we will need now, Peter Obi. Now, Peter Obi, everybody wants. Left, right, second, back and front, now, Peter Obi. Put these three people together. Tell yourself the truth. Who they qualified to lead us? Who they qualified to lead us out of these three people? Now, Peter Obi, we don't need leader with a sleep for meeting. We don't need leader where they go abroad, go take treatments every day. We don't need leader where something go happen for a country. You know, if we address your own country. For the past few years now, we never see somebody we say now they lead us, make it go address this country. You know, they fit. So for the past how many years now, we never see our leader come out one day say something happen for social police. Our 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 leader reach there, you know, they we don't need leader. We be say they go wake her up to come address the country, you know, they there. We don't need leader. We be say one hand and one leg the pain. We don't need leader. We be say they shake. We don't need leader. We go to sleep for meeting. We don't need leader. We don't talk. We don't need leader. We be say you don't hold, you don't tire, you don't weak. We need leader like Peter Obi. Qualification he get him. If he defend the country anywhere you go, if you like now midnight, they can wake him up. He can stand up where he throws her and run go there. We don't need leader. We don't tire. We need leader. We still day young. We still need leader. We still they think like us. Because things don't move on. It not be like olden days. We don't need leader. We go to think about olden days. 19, whatever, no date. You can't remember. Things are happening now. Then how do we get this leader? The power is in your hand. By doing what? Getting your voter's card. That's it. If youth, all youth for Nigeria stand up today, I vote for the right person. Vote for Peter Obi. Things will change. You know. Stop deceiving yourself. Not because of somebody get money, he buy a way out and enter. Is that the thing? Not money to buy your way. Not be money to buy your way out or buy your way in. Now we define. So we define true leader. I will not know say Peter will be not that person. You know. But some of them they pretend because of the game, one of the game for the other people. And somebody that day they tell me say because it's my party. That's why he won't vote for that man with the shake. Because now your party. So you prefer your own party for your people to the suffer. This man talk and say, he no say this person not they qualify. But now that party in day. He go vote for that person. But for your mind, he knows that Peter will be supposed to win. Listen to Nigeria's people and listen to how Nigeria is the reason. When I hear that my interview, I was shocked for him to say that, that I will love Peter will be to win. But because this person is for my own party, and then I want my party to win. Because when my party win, I will get something. So how much are you going to get and say your children future? Youth of Nigeria's. Do yourself a favor. Get yourself voter's card and vote. PVC, simple. Mr. Peter Gregory Obi, Honorary Special Advisor to the President on Finance and member of the country's economic management team, is the immediate past executive governor of Anambra State. Mr. Obi attended Christ the King College, Onicha, and graduated from the University of Nigeria, Nsuka, with a bachelor's degree in philosophy. He has attended several executive programs at top business schools in Nigeria and abroad, including Harvard Business School and Kellogg Graduate School of Management, USA. <clears throat> He is an alumnus of Lagos Business School, having attended the Chief Executive Program, CEP 11, in 2002. Mr. Peter Obi is a thoroughbred professional and fellow of the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria. He has excelled both in private enterprise and public service and had at various times been the chairman Fidelity Bank PLC, 
Chairman, Guardian Express Mortgage Bank Limited. Chairman, Paymaster PLC, to mention, to mention just a few. As governor, he was elected vice chairman of the Nigeria Governors Forum and chairman Southeast Governors Forum, amongst numerous other federal government appointments. Recently honored as the outstanding Igbo man of the decade by the champion newspaper, <laughs> Mr. Obi is credited with introducing fundamental changes in Nigerian politics and is remembered for the following achievements while in office. Exemplary commitment to reforms and development, building relationships between Anambra State and other countries such as USA, Britain, Russia, European Union, Belgium, Israel, Venezuela, and others attracted big Fortune 500 companies like SAB Miller, Distel, and GlaxoSmithKline, Nimeth Pharmaceuticals, etc., to Anambra State. <laughs> Under him, Anambra State was rated the least indebted state in Nigeria by the Debt Management Office. Anambra was adjudged by the Federal Ministry of Works, the state with the best network of roads in the country, having asphalted over 800 kilometers of roads. He reopened long closed schools and returned missionary schools to the original owners with a grant of 6 billion naira for their rehabilitation distributing over 30,000 computers, internet access, Microsoft academies to over 500 schools. Anambra State students, for the first time, achieved first place nationwide in the 2013 WAEC and NECO Common Entrance Examinations. He provided 700 buses to secondary schools in the state and provided boreholes to over 300 schools. He also built classroom blocks in all the 177 communities in the state. He ensured the payment of over 35 billion naira in outstanding pensions and gratuities in the state since 1999. Before he became governor, no single health institution was accredited in the state, but under his administration, 10 schools of nursing, midwifery, and medical technology, as well as two hospitals, were accredited. <laughs> Mr. Peter Obi stands for justice and fairness, and was the first Nigerian governor to reclaim his governorship mandate after three years in the court giving confidence to others to pursue their stolen mandates. He's also the first governor in Anambra State to serve for two terms since democratic rule in 1979. Perhaps Mr. Peter Obi's greatest legacy in office was his financial prudence. He funded development projects without borrowing money from financial institutions, nor raising bonds. And he handed over to his successor, Mr. Willie Obiano, also an alumnus of LBS, the sum of 75 billion naira in the form of cash local foreign investments. In a recent testimony, the Anglican Bishop of the Diocese of Amici, Right Reverend E. O. Ikako, spoke glowingly of Mr. Peter Obi while advising his successor, Mr. Willie Obiano, to tow his checkered steps. Mr. Obi is a native of Amatutu village, Agulu, Anaucha, LGA of Anambra State, and he's married to Margaret with two children for contributing in an outstanding way to the development of Anambra State and Nigeria, for contributing in building an oasis of sanity and expanding the ideas of what is possible and what can be done in the society, setting new standards in the process, 
and for reflecting the ideals of the school both in private and public service, Mr. Peter Gregory Obi is hereby being honored with the Lagos Business School Distinguished Alumni Award. <laughs>